I'm doing tonight. You're off. Cheerio. So this is Craig and Craig's building the bar. Um, from what I've got from the drawer in my hand. My money. Left with money. A bag of money. I'm going to go home. I'm going to go home. I'm going to go home. You're brighten all day and then you come in here. So what's the time now? Well, if you close, you must close at half ten. So that's the run up um, in position, but now the end of this one is directly in line with the wall here. So I'm going to put it, I'm, but I need a, a non-metallic enclosure for the radio switch. So the non-metallic enclosure will go here and offset to one side and then another length will come out this side and just snick down there uh, with a couple of saddles and then flexible down to there. This line here, it's not long enough uh, for the windows at each side, so we've got to replace this cable here with a longer one. And that's what I'm doing now. So I've taken the old cables out here, and I've gone and bought some a longer length which I'm going to fit. These are my uh, hole downlighter uh, hole saws. Um, it's, they're made by Superod and the advantage with them is that you can have more than one um, on the arbor. Here's the arbor, and you can see that it just uh, it has a machined uh, groove there, and the sh on the shoulder the um, item just snaps into place on the groove. Not only that, though, <coughs> you can cut a larger diameter hole from within a smaller diameter hole um, by mounting them together and therefore you 
uh, it allows you to um, center the the uh, arbor with uh, with greater ease. So I can cut, I can expand out to what's that? A uh, diameter eighty millimeter from a diameter uh, sixty four millimeter hole. Today I'm going to be using a smaller of these um, because it's just to get a cable out from from the ceiling for that multiple light holder that I've showed you before. And um, I'm going to take the feed from the lights that are already there. So the switching. Will this is my Milwaukee CHPX uh, SDS Plus drill, um, and it's got the SDS um, chuck in there, which I need to exchange for the uh, three jaw chuck in order to take the arbor because this is not SDS Plus fitting. So to do that. It's quite a neat um, design. I push the collar back. I take the chuck out. That's the SDS Plus chuck. There are three ball bearings, well, five or six ball bearings in there, which uh, lock the chuck into place. Here's the other chuck. And pull the collar back. There we go. That's in. CHPX. You can tell it's a CHPX because the gear selector lever is on the top of the housing here. And there's a smaller one with a gear selector lever on the side. Um, but it's a slightly inferior model to this. The other thing is, it's good and easy to get the um, the disc you've cut out away because of these large cutouts. So it's good. Well, here we are with the uh, fitting the customer bought in place. It's taken quite a long time to put into put up, um, partly because the dimensions were squiffy and uh, it required lengthening these two cables here, which meant taking the thing apart and um, buying new cable and fiddling around with it. The thing I've got to do still um, over here is um, connect these um, up the right length, uh, put the dome lids onto these through boxes, and what we're going to do up here is insert the radio switch and just here we're going to break this um, piece of uh, conduit here, put another enclosure in um, for a dimmer. After the radio switch um, there'll be a dimmer so that you can set the uh, luminance of the lamps. Um, you know, you can set the luminance and then turn it on via the radio switch from the bar. In a moment, I'm going to catch up with the PR. There we go. 
This should hopefully be the same length. I'll just cut the middle out. And then it'll go up there. I just need to mark the screw hole. The lights are up. Um, the lights are up along the windows now, so the job is progressing. Um, I've got a list of tests to do for the minor work certificates. But I also need to get the RF light switch working. Now, um, I've lost all the instructions about how to program these, and I know from past experience it's quite difficult to find them on the internet. Um, the receiver is in situ, and the spur is fused, so uh, theoretically it should work. Then I've got to go and get a battery for it, uh, annoyingly enough. Look at sockets in the bar area, and also, he wants these um, fans removed. So I'm going to go and buy the CR2032 uh, battery for the RF switch, have a coffee, uh, come back, probably go on the internet, see, see about the programming of the switch, um, may need to order another one if it doesn't work, and um, yeah, and then start on the testing for the mining works. I haven't got any otherwise I'd somebody's gonna have I'd give you some out of the van but those on the, the end new there. ones, yeah. Those. Yeah. Three of them I need. 
I don't want to buy I've never box. bought I've never bought them. Just, I've never used that size and we're clearing a job somewhere out for someone doing a favour. Why that one's open anyway yeah, that box? <laughs> Alright. How annoying. Um what about what about No they haven't got them in the small pack, they go up to four mil this size. Yeah but I've got some push-in ones that are big. Oh like this one here, that they got really the push-ins. Yeah. Would they do you? Oh they do you? Yeah they would, yeah. I'll get you one. How many do you want? Three. Just wanted three of the large Vargos and of course my whole Vargo box is on site. Felicity now. Yeah. Enjoy your day with that camera, have fun. Yeah, waterproof housing for that. I don't think it's, it's waterproof, it is waterproof. Oh, really? This one you can drop it as well. Yeah, well, good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Cheerio. To City Electrical wasn't that successful. Um, I got handed a box of double patrices, which is not what I wanted. I wanted singles, and I didn't check it because I was talking to that guy too much. Um, but uh, I switched all the electricity on and um, the little red um, LED that's supposed to s flick on on the receiver did not. This is the transmitter. Uh, here's the receiver. The little thing that's in the middle, the red dot, it's supposed to light up, it didn't. So I, I got another one because I've got some in stock and then what you do is um, you press a learn button for a second, which I did with a scriber. There we go. Which I did with a scriber. I press the learn button. So here's the receiver. Press the learn button here for a second there and while it flashes you operate the switch now I'm operating the switch operating the switch And then I just need to check that it just need to check that it works from behind the bar. I know my lip sync is going because that's what this camera does. So Have you ever done this? I've, I've put the whole thing together, it's got an electronic dimmer, it's got the, the electronic RF switch, it's tied, tied into an RCVO, and guess what I haven't done? I haven't done any of the tests, and the tests mean I can't, I can't do the tests with those electronics in there. Oh, here's the board uh, I've got to do the tests on. Because if you want to build this bridge, then you need to have money to go through the very end of the project so that we don't end up with it. He appears to have been involved in another con job, but no one minded about the previous 364,000. But you don't necessarily, James, for this story to be important in July, on Thursday, Boris Johnson, as Prime Minister, 0.15. Point one five. This is a no confidence vote. It, does it necessarily even get that far? Isn't Theresa May constitutionally bad? Well, well say I can do it there. there. That is, has been in existence presumably for centuries precisely because it describes the impossible. You cannot have your power. And then this I'm going to take my, my ZS yeah. you didn't see reading. Yeah. 2.09 ohms, which is okay. It's quite high, but then it's going through the RF switch and um, 
Yeah, so I'm not sure why it's that high, but it's okay for this circuit. 32 amp. To this point, that needs changing. The radial, and that's 0.44 is the ZS, which shows that um, which shows that uh, yeah is indeed uh, that extra that sort of one and a half ohms is caused in um, the RF switch and so on. That reminds me that this is a radial, and yet it's fused at 32 amps, so that needs changing. I've got a crap result for the um, line to earth, so I sort of expected. I'm going to take the RCBO out, that's um, the 32 amp RCBO, and change it over to a 16 amp RCBO. And uh, while, while the 32 is out, I will do the um, insulation tests. Now, I've got a slight problem in that... Um, I'm fed up of putting these Fatmax boxes back um, due to um, this cross piece here in the way. So I'm going to remove those cross pieces either side because it doesn't allow two to get two abreast right up. So that's what I'm going to do now. Packout boxes are very good, and um, so you've got my CHPX in there, my ratchet driver, my um, bandsaw, the right angled 18 volts uh, drill. That all goes in there for me to, to wheel out, and then these Euro boxes, which I have in the van for miscellaneous stuff, um, which I like a lot. So, of course, you know about these um, tech packs. Um, Vito Pro Pack uh, from Canada. Uh, I've got my uh, Joker Super Spanners uh, in the side there, and then all, all my uh, fine screwdrivers. Screwdriver's got a brush there, um, brush there for sweeping off dust and whatnot. So a number of fine screwdrivers, uh, which are a bit difficult to see, and marksman scissors. Um, where all the stuff I had in there before. But a nice little bit is this, this Nipex um, uh, adjustable. They're, they're, really, they're about 48 quid though, Nipex. And um, then these uh, pipe wrenches with the ratchets in, who are made by. Uh, I don't know who makes them. I think it might be CK. Um, so I've got two pairs of pipe wrenches. And uh, I've got some uh, ready use hole cutters. Another one there. Um, another ready use hole cutter of mine is this um, uh, Armeg, which I like. Uh, got some um, Allen keys. My, so both my magnets are in here. There's one there. And there's one there. Um, tips, bits, uh, punches, which are always being used. And two um, scribers, which I very often use. The normal electrician things are a stripper. This is a Jakari stripper, used for armor. Um, side cutters, a pair of um, another pair of cutters. The soldering, I've got to drag more. Um, Come and have a look at this. Um, in my big Euro box here, brown, blue, uh, I've got glands for Copex. I've got um, 20 mil Copex black, 25 mil white. So I don't know what I'm supposed to do if I I want white 20. I've got 16 mil uh, main earth conductor and 10 mil, a big roll of 10 mil down there. Then I've got all these um, bloody things from pat testing, but also a lot of other stick stickies that you need. And then I've got a box of another box of double sockets. Whereas I've got I've got a socket a socket box up here as well. 
and not particularly organised. results on a uh, temporary sheet of paper, ready to be put into the mine of work certificate, which I'll probably do tomorrow. Mein Gefährte, 